Before we hop into the video, I noticed that over 98% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed, and that makes me wide people sad. If you want to make me wide people happy, one sub equals one wide people happy. And let's try to get to 1,000 wide people happies. It'll put a smile on my face. In the few days preceding August 7th, speedrunners were just starting to get their footing after update 1.02. This is because update 1.02 removed a glitch which ended up completely restructuring the leaderboards. The glitch they patched was known as Taxi Glitch, and they patched the console version of Taxi Glitch. I go over this in a lot of detail in my World Record History video, so check that out if you're interested. Some speedrunners, including myself, were upset with this patch as it made our run slower. But over the next few days, people started coming around and it became more generally accepted as an understandable patch. Well, what do I mean, understandable patch? Most game developers will patch out glitches that will impact casual play. Some developers intentionally leave certain glitches in that will not impact casual play, especially if they're used in speedruns. Both Purple Lamp Studios, the developer of Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, and THQ Nordic, who published the game, have publicly shown support for speedrunners. In fact, let's take a look at an interview conducted between NintendoEverything.com and a THQ Nordic producer. I will leave the article in the description below. The first thing to notice is this article was posted on June 22nd, which was the day before release day. At one point, the interviewer asked, will the game have tricks and glitches that have become popular within the speedrunning community? And that's the section we're gonna be focusing on from this article. The producer says, as it is a full remake as opposed to a remaster, which uses original code, we did not recreate the glitches of the original as it would have basically meant to turn them into real features. We were in close contact with the speedrunning community, however, we have gained a lot of valuable input from this close relationship. And of course, we're always curious to see which exploits the community will find in Rehydrated. Smiley face. I believe what he was referring to in regards to having a close relationship with speedrunners is, to my knowledge, THQ Nordic as well as Purple Lamp were in contact with Shift, who's the world record holder of every major category in the original BFBB, and used some of his input in some decision making for certain aspects of the game. I'm sure this has happened before with some other game, but this is the first time I've ever seen it, and I think that's really cool. Purple Lamp also seems to support speedrunners, as we see in IGN's Devs React video. Yeah, crazy. Uh, can I ask you, Shift, how I free it? Uh you always the community about patches and fixes. Oh, yeah, people are worried about stuff getting patched, but I've been telling them, you guys have been pretty clear, you know, you're only going to patch things that affect the game casually, you know? They're, they're worried that um, you guys are going to, like, patch the big one where you can warp to the end um, and, like, I guess, like, the, the squirrel, the flying squirrel stuff. But... I think there are some legitimate things in the game that casuals can stumble across that might be patched. Mm -hmm. And I don't just totally understand if they were. But um, mm -hmm. for the most part, I feel like some of these things you wouldn't really come across unless you were really trying to break the game. This Steph's React video was commentated by a project manager at Purple Lamp Studios, as well as the same producer that we were talking about earlier in the interview. The person asking the question was the project manager of Purple Lamp Studios, and you can confirm this yourself by watching the first minute of the video in the description below where he introduces himself and you can verify the voice is the same. The other voice is of course Shift, the world record holder of all major categories in the original BFBB. This video premiered July 11th, approximately two and a half weeks after the release of the game. Of course it was recorded beforehand, I don't know when it was recorded, but it was after the game's release, because obviously the records had to happen. And at this point, it seems both Purple Lamp and THQ Nordic, as they were both there for the devs react, were still on board with speedrunners. Also note, everyone in the community seems to remember Purple Lamp continuously saying they weren't going to patch glitches unless they impact the casual play, and even Shift references it in the video saying, you guys keep saying, you guys have always said, etc. But I couldn't find any other articles or public statements. They, they definitely exist because everyone knows about them. I just couldn't personally find them. Maybe there were private discussions with Shift. I'm not sure. Also note, that was recorded before the release of 1.02, which is why Shift didn't mention the console tax glitch being patched because it hadn't been patched yet. But that's also what I'm referring to when I'm saying we kind of understand this as a patch. 
as casuals could have accidentally done it. If you're more interested on how it's done, I go over it in a lot of detail in my world record history video. I wake up August 7th and I see a ping for everyone who has the role Rehydrated Speedrunner in the BFBB and Rehydrated Speedrunning Discord, which by the way, I'll leave in the description if anyone's interested. I open it up and see there is a new update and immediately have flashbacks to the previous one where stuff got patched out, so I got very nervous very quickly. So I open it up and in the patch notes it says, fix the bug where you could travel to locked locations on the map and my heart sank. As most of you watching my videos probably know, I have the world record in what's now called One Spat. I had world record when it was called Unrestricted and when it was called Taxi Glitch, it's now called One Spat and it's an obsolete category because it's not possible anymore. If you watched my last video, I talk all about that. Console can also do the Taxi Glitch that PC does, but it makes it a two spat run. And it looks like they tried to patch that out here. So I got very, very nervous and scared that they patched it out. Luckily, they didn't patch it out. It looks like they must have tried to patch it out and just failed somewhere. I don't know what happened, but it's not patched out. But it did have a silent consequence that we weren't ready for. But before we get to that, I first wanted to talk about how betrayed a lot of the speedrunning community felt, especially console runners, and I'll get into the reason in a second, that they did this. This was... This trick requires a frame-perfect double A input after some setup. And I'm not going to go over exactly how it works. That's a very simplified version. I go over it again in depth in my last video. What casual is going to hit A twice on the same frame with the setup by accident? I feel like that's no one would, personally. This is off script. I'm just kind of talking right now. I just, I feel like that's... It's not gonna happen. And on console, we can't down patch, which is the big problem, I'll get to that now. On PC, you can choose what patch you play on, and you can go back to different patches, whatever works better for the run. On console, we're stuck to either 1.0 or the current patch. The unexpected consequence of this patch as well was that warping directly to Chumbucket Lab, which is Robo SpongeBob right at the end of the game, no longer grants the powers. Uh, I, I'll briefly go over how that works, but again, in depth in the last video. When you enter the fight against Robo SpongeBob in Chumbucket Lab, the game automatically would give you Bubble Bowl and, and Cruise Bubble, but now they don't. And because Xbox can't really go back to anything other than 1.0, 1.0 is faster, but you can't cobra. It just it's, cre it's creating leaderboard problems, as well as no casuals and a sequence break to Chum Bucket Lab. So I'm gonna go over quickly how you do it if you don't do it with Taxi Glitch, because I already talked about how patching Taxi Glitch made no sense to me, or trying to patch Taxi Glitch rather. The only other way to get to Chum Bucket Lab without all the powers is to go out of bounds in Bikini Bottom which is very hard to do if you don't know exactly how to do it because of Hans triggers and all sorts of measures to stop you, invisible walls, etc. You would have to go out of bounds and still have the 75 spatulas to get in to Trump Bucket Lab normally, which is done in the quote unquote any percent runs, AKA the no taxi glitch runs that collect 77 spatulas. Uh, I put it in quotes because it's not technically any percent, but when you think of any percent, that's probably where your brain's gonna go before Taxi Glitch runs. So now they have a problem where their runs are probably gonna be roughly three minutes slower-ish. And I just don't understand why they would patch it. No, like I said, no casuals gonna end up in Chum Bucket Lab without the powers on accident. Unless they somehow taxi glitch by accident, which I guess could be possible, but I don't know who's inputting A twice on the same frame using two different controllers after the setup. And what casual is going out of bounds to skip Robo Patrick, at least Robo Patrick, if not Sandy as well. I just, I don't understand. 
I feel like this is a blatant patch just to screw over speedrunners. And I'm not the only one who thinks this. I'm about to hop into some Discord messages from the EFBB and rehydrated speedrunning server. Of course, I asked for permission ahead of time and they said I could use the messages and use their names. They offered to edit them out. They said leave them in. So just, just so you can see some other people's perspective on this patch. So this is the evening of August 7th. We have uh, talking about Purple Lamp, trying to remove Taxi Glitch and removing powers obtained from Robo Sponge are both very anti speedrun friendly and neither of those would ever affect the casual. It's just gonna turn off people to speedrunning on console because as I mentioned, PC can down patch and avoid the patch entirely. They were going after speedrunners intentionally, it seems like. I don't intend to update from 1.01, .01, so I can never submit another run. I'll get to that in a second. I feel like console speedrunning for this game is going to die. SMH, it's definitely killing my motivation. Next we have, now I don't even want to run anymore. Now we have, for me, I already announced my departure from speedrunning this game, and just for now, until maybe something reverts or, or something. And then I'm about to as well. Uh, we have a message from a mod, and I want to say something before I move on from this one. Responding to when the next patch happens, are the runs on 1.03 going to get archived? And then that's the idea right now. So what, what, what are they saying here? Basically, this is a mod who is you know, moderator of the Discord as well as speedrun.com leaderboards. Uh, and the premise is that every patch so far has made the run slower. So if that trend continues, every time a new patch comes out, on this is only for console. Because we can't choose what patch we run on, all the runs are gonna get put to basically a legacy leaderboard where you can't submit or, you know, the runs are just kind of there, but it's not an active leaderboard anymore. And I just wanted to make it very clear, Good Guy Tong does not like this. It's just what seems to be best right now to the mods and I have to agree with them. So no one, you know, don't go after anyone. Don't go into the Discord and call out Good Guy Tongue. It's not what he wants either. It's just, we, they, there has to be a brainstorming on how we move forward. Next uh, message, I'm seeing if I can switch to PC from console at all. Uh, they they just fucked the console speedrunning community. It's annoying as fuck, true. I mean, all I'm thinking to myself is what a fucking gut punch. I mean, people are, especially console runners, are very upset about this, and I, I don't understand why this happened. And I want to make very clear, I'm not trying to boycott or send hate to THQ Nordic or Purple Lamp. I honestly just want to understand what's happening. Um, it's still a great game. It's still a great casual game. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm not trying to send anyone to harass or or be mean or send hate, anything like that. I'm just, I just want to know what's going on. Is it possible maybe Purple Lamp obviously coded it and did the patch themselves. Did THQ Nordic tell them to? Or was there some other influence? We don't know what their intentions were. But the response from the community is very much, wow, we're getting fucked. And we don't know why. Um, if you're looking into speedrunning this game, I would still say definitely do it. I would recommend getting the PC version because you can pick what patch you play on. Console seems to be getting tossed around and a large majority of runners are leaving. There's, to my knowledge, zero active taxi glitch runners. Uh, no taxi glitch is dwindling. People, are, especially after this patch, people are very unhappy, so. This ending is very unscripted, I apologize, and I know it's kind of sad, and I, I don't want, I mean, it's just, it's more frustration and defeat. I don't want you guys to leave this feeling bad for me or bad, you know. I just, we just want to know what's happening. I wanted to just document everything and, and put it together for maybe people who aren't familiar with it. I don't know, I, that's gonna be it for me for now. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another video, and until then, see you soon.